Hey everyone, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a braided bracelet. Now these are like the slip-on braided bracelets where there's no magnets required and you just um, a strip of tape closing it together and you can slip it on and off easily and nicely like so. So yeah, let's get started on how to make these. The first step is to take whatever colors you want. So like you can use three different colors because there's three strands. Or you can use two of the same color, or you can make it three of the same color. So the first step you want to do is take a strip of tape. Tear out a strip of tape that is a, about 15 inches, which is the average um, size for your wrist. So you want to cut the 15 inch strip down the middle in half, and this is as best as you can. Or you can rip it down the middle, which I find a little bit easier. Okay, so once you've got your half strip, you can move the other one aside. You can use the other half to make another um, bracelet. But what you want to do is flip it over. Sorry. I'm going to flip it over. And how you want to fold it, you want to take this part. You want to fold it a third up. Only a third. Like so. Just folding it up. Just make sure there's no wrinkles or air bubbles. So it does have to be perfect. I mean, mine looks pretty bad. And then after you fold it about a third of it up, you're gonna flip it over, turn it over, so that the stickiness is showing. Then you're gonna take this stickiness, you know, fold it over so that it overlaps this other part of the blue by just a little bit. So now you flatten it and now what I basically have is two rounded edges because a lot of people use the duct tape guys method where you just fold in a half but half of it leaves the flimsy side which tends to get dirt and stickiness stuff on it and it gets really dirty really easily so my method is a lot better because both of your edges are smooth and there's no worry about getting dirt on it. So once you've got your however many colors you want, like three different colors, or shoe the same color, or all three of them the same color. What you want to do is tear out a strip of tape. You want the closures to be, and by the closures, I mean this part, the color you want this part to be. In my case, I am using purple to place your, make sure it's flip sticky side, and you want to um, stick all three on. And make sure it's like this. And make sure when you're sticking it, you can see the way you folded it. And so the smooth side should be facing the other direction. One, two. And then the third one, make sure they're nice and together. So now you should have something like this. Now what you want to do is stick it at the end of your cutting board, like so. And then you want to take two small strips of tape. I'm just going to put them at the end on the side here and then just fold it over. It will prevent it, the whole thing from coming off. Same thing for this side. And now we are ready to braid it together. So if you don't know how to braid, I'll show you how to braid. So the first thing I do, I take the one way on the left. I'm going to cross it over the middle. You're going to take the one on the right. You want to pick up the one on the right and overlap that. So now you should have something like this. And now, basically, you're using the, techni the technique on using taking the outside piece and braiding it over. The outside piece, braiding over. And just keep doing this method. The outside over and just alternating the same pattern procedure. And then you 
you just measure it, just make sure it fits your wrist. So once you've finished braiding it, take off these pieces. Um, and remove the long strip that held it together. I'm going to cut that in half so it's two inches long and then cut that in half. Wrap it at the ends of the bracelet. So when you cut it off at the edge here, it, the whole bracelet will stay together. The braid, the braid. And the same thing on the other side. Just do the same thing. And then trim it off. So now you have something like this. And if it doesn't fit, you can stretch it. Duct tape is stretchable. Um, so yeah. Now you're going to take your leftover piece here. Put half of it on one side of the bracelet. And then close it together. And then just wrap the duct tape over like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. And yeah, stretch it out. You know, adjust it however you like. And that's it. This is how to make a duct tape bracelet. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later.